My name is Christian Miller. Um, I'm a relief printmaker, uh, also a mixed media artist. My name is Abby Bunnell. I usually work with oil on canvas. Uh, for this show, I did pen and ink on clayboard. Uh, my name is John Shook. Um, I'm a graphic uh, artist, visual artist. Uh, I like to work with different mediums, uh, from clays to painting to you know screen printing, um, pretty much anything. <laughs> Yeah, uh, my piece is a, um, it's a relief print, um, also a little bit of watercolor in the background. Uh, it is a um, piece that I have reworked um, to fit this show a little bit. It, um, it has uh, some text on it that says uh, we're all the same on the inside. Um, and the idea behind the piece is um, giving the viewer the idea that we are all the same on the inside. We're all humans. We all have hearts, the same organs, um, and underneath the skin, we're all the same. It's the outside that is what's majorly hated upon. Nobody hates you because you're a human. People hate you for every other reason in the book, but we're all humans, and to live together in peace, you have to remember that that's a fellow human, and you know we're the same underneath. Uh, this piece for the show, um, my day job is working with autistic children and other kids that have emotional disabilities in some way. So my piece illustrates um, a left and right brain, and the left brain is where a, neuro a neurotypical child or persons would be, and then the right side is, I have hands coming from the top trying to force the right side to where the left brain is. So trying to create that mold of a normal person. The painting I did was of a Native American uh, dream catcher and it had the four directions of the four colors, the Lakota colors uh, that represent the four directions and the dream catcher was shot to pieces and bleeding. Uh, it had a missing feather on the one side and uh, like the blood coming down it had uh, an owl feather on the other side with blood dripping off of that which represents uh, death or a new beginning. Um, the piece was actually done for a friend of mine. He wrote a book called Full Circle, and it's, you can find it on Amazon or iTunes. There's an audio version of it too. So I pretty much designed the piece through his instruction. So he told me what he wanted, and I kind of reiterated, reiterated onto it, you know, what he wanted and he liked it, and I just kind of went with it. <laughs> so, but it's, it portrays uh, pretty much how. Uh, Native American people were pushed aside and the colonists kind of just took over basically. I feel personally that that kind of history isn't taught enough, you know, it's like swept under the rug a little bit to, you know, ignorance is bliss kind of thing, kind of mentality falls into play when it comes to the indigenous peoples of this land. Uh, yeah, when, when Brady called me, he asked me about if they could use my, my Gandhi painting as the flyer, and I was all for it. I thought, oh yeah, man, go ahead and go do it. And he said, oh, we want to use your, you know, you want to submit another piece. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm down. I got just the thing in mind that I want to do. And, um, you know, he talked about the show and, this, you know, what he wanted to do with it and, you know, how everything's going to charity and, what you know, the ideas behind it. And I was 100% for it. I was like, this is a show, this is the artwork that I create. Like, I want to change people's views and try to, you know, not to see, get them to view my way, but to kind of have a better aspect of getting an open mind towards issues in the world that need to be addressed so we can all live in peace. You know, when I saw the question, I was a little taken off. I was like, oh man, what do I say? Like, do I have one? And I think the only thing that really strikes my mind uh, right off the bat when uh, I was at Penn State um, in Altoona, I was going to school there and um, they would have like a, a gay pride week and I remember they had all these different events going on and they had like a drag show and things like that and there were, the one week the one year I was there there was these protesters there was just like four kids with signs who just every event they went around and they were just hanging up these signs you know awful you know like you know discriminatory you know information on the signs and during the one event you know somebody brought it up in the crowd and as soon as the event went over, like everybody just went out, you know, outside and just kind of like started bombarding them with questions, like, "Why do you hate us? Like, what is your reason behind them?" 
and they walked away and they didn't come back the next two years. Like nobody ever protested anything and I thought that was, you know, a good peaceful way of going about it. Like nobody got angry at them. We all just walked outside and was just like, what's your deal? You know, like why, why are you, you know, trying to cause all this, you know, all these problems? Like why do you hate us? We have answers, we'll give you them, you know? And they were just, you know, they answered a few questions and that was it. Like those kids walked away and we, there was never a problem. The next three years I was there, that was it. I think that's the only really story that I, I have that I was involved with personally, which would be like a human rights issue. I think the show is really cool. Um, this kind of theme I think is really rare for artists to come together and I think a really cool quality that artists have is observing things that people don't normally notice and interpreting that in a different way. So I think it's just a really unique theme for us to come together. No matter how bad you have it, there's always someone else that has it worse. You know, that's the main thing that people need to realize and having a show like this it opens people's eyes to a lot of stuff reading the descriptions that they put that you know that goes with the pieces and stuff it's really uh it's a good show you know it's just come out and enjoy it and look at the different artwork that the people create with you know the descriptions about it it's you, you can learn a few things too with a show like this because it, it's based off of the you know global events and stuff that's actually going on currently so um, I would say to anybody coming to the show, um, you know, come in with an open mind and an open heart and kind of like, I mean, uh, every piece has a description underneath it. I would say read every piece and kind of think about everything that you're reading here because each one of these artists is trying to put an idea into your head, you know, or kind of spark an idea in your head and maybe somebody here who sees this starts something that none of us have thought about, you know what I mean, to try to solve a problem in this world that you know, people are getting hurt in one way or another and maybe somebody here will start a change, make a difference in this world.